What's up everybody, this your boy King Hustle, and yes, this is my new YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe, hit the all notification bell, so whenever I drop new sauce, new lessons, new methods, and giveaways, you'll be the first one to be notified, you'll be the first one to know what's going on, and hey, you might be the first one to win something for free, so make sure you subscribe, hit the all notification bell, all the YouTube channels, I'm talking this one right here, King Hustle, King Hustle 2.0, King Hustle uh, Topic, King Hustle X1M, uh, the Hustle Family, Black Hat Jones, Click Here to Laugh, and Hustle Nation Empire Production. Also, make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. All you gotta do is click the link on all my videos, the title on all my videos, and at the bottom, in the description, all my social media links will pop up. The first one will be my official IG, King Hustle X1. Oh my God, that's my only uh, King Hustle one. I got a lot of fake IGs out there, so make sure you click that link. And before y'all send any of y'all money, please get a verification video or FaceTime me before you uh, send your money. If I don't do it, that ain't me. So. Make sure you take that consideration. And before we get anything started, this is all educational purposes only. I'm not telling anybody to go do anything. So let's get this started. Oh, and make sure you all follow my OnlyFans. So I'm giving a lot of good sauce, a lot of information that I can't put on here. So make sure you all follow my OnlyFans too. And also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube uh, membership program because I'm giving a lot of uh, sauce on there that I can't really drop and the, to the free public. So today we're going to be talking about this this one little scam that a lot of people don't be really talking about but today i'm going to be the one talking about it and this scam is called the 501c3 scam and a lot of people probably have just heard me say the 5013 c scam the 501c3 scam they're like what is that what is that what is that what is that well i'm gonna tell you what it is the 501c3 scam is basically non-profit organization scams and a lot of people are like, what is that? What is that? What is that? I heard of it. I heard of it. I heard of it. What is it? Well, basically, there are nonprofit organizations that are gaining money from donations and they're filing exempt tax forms so they don't have to pay a certain amount of taxes and they're keeping the money. So let's think, let's read right here what it says. Fraud schemes and nonprofit Nonprofits can inc include check fraud, embezzlement, ghost employees, expense fraud, misappropriation uh, mis of funds for personal use, fictitious vending schemes, kickbacks from un uh, scope un un vendors, and outright theft and cash assets to the name a few. All right. So let's jot down to it. Let's really get down to what's really going on. Right. So it's basically, it's like another. Ponzi schemes like an embezzlement scheme, right? So like people are literally like the main people who are doing a non-profit scams out here are pastors. A lot of pastors out here are literally getting money from the people and saying it's for this cost and that cost, so they don't, you know what I mean? It won't be used for taxes and it, it, you won't it can be used as a liability or being an asset for the nonprofit program. So I know a lot of people are like, what are you talking about? No, you, I'm confused, I'm confused, I'm confused. So let me slow it down and break it down into real bits and pieces so you can understand. So what people are doing is they're filing businesses, they're making LLCs, right? And they're filing for nonprofit organizations and they're filing for exempt tax forms or ex exempt taxes. So once they get that exemption, the IRS is gonna be on their heels, but that's what they're doing, so boom. So let's say I wanna be a pastor, so I'm gonna open up this church, this blah, blah, blah church, LLC, or blah, blah, blah church, right? I'm gonna file under for a nonprofit and a tax exemption, right? So now I'm gonna start being a pastor. I'm gonna start preaching, I'm gonna get this building and whatever like that, right? So boom, I'm gonna start asking for donations. I'm gonna start asking for, for commissary for this and for that, right? And the only certain amount of the percentage that you make from the, the church has to go, has to be paid in taxes and things like that, right? So let's say you're at a big church in a big city that has a lot of people. You built your brand and your per uh, perception up and that you got a lot of, that you preached the, the, the good word and you got a lot of people that, you know, wanna come to your church. So you got a lot of people to come to your church and you're in a wealthy neighborhood or a, a wealthy uh, location or, you know, a lot of wealthy people or, you you know, you got that, that love from the community. You're gonna be a pastor, you're gonna have, commissary for this, you're going to have commissary for this, you're going to present certain opportunities and certain things for the church or for certain things for you to, to be able to preach the word of God, right? So you might say, oh, because I just looked at a video and it's literally a pastor asking for a $42 million donation to buy a jet because he says flying coach 
and the food they serve flying coach isn't good for him and it, 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 it makes him feel bad and he won't be able to preach the word of God. But under the regulations of the nonprofit organizations, people buy people donating that forty two million dollars for the word of God for him to be able to preach and get to his his his, his, his places that he need to go, it's legal. He he can't you know what I mean? He won't be he can't be really prosecuted prosecuted for it because he's not doing anything wrong. We know what's wrong, but he's under the rules and regulations. He's not doing anything wrong. So let's say this this pastor says, "I need I need a donation of a hundred thousand dollars. We need to get this for the church. We need to do this for the church. We need to do that for the church." He only has to spend an X amount of that money on the church and report an X amount. And it's like I'm not gonna I don't want to give you guys the wrong number, so I'm not gonna throw a number out there. But it's a it's a small amount, and he gets to keep the rest. So let's say. The church donated. You get a donation for two hundred million. I mean, for two hundred thousand dollars. He only has. To, you only have to spend a small amount on the church or for that cause. And there's a lot of different donation, a nonprofit uh, organizations out here for child abuse, for breast ca cancer awareness, for this and that. Where it's just people basically coming up with businesses. They're having people send donations, and they're keeping a small amount. They're paying taxes, liabilities. They're doing the same thing, but they only don't have to pay as much in taxes. And they're keeping the money there. I mean, it's got people, it's all a scam. You got people saying, oh, if you I'll donate this amount of money, this money is going to go for this cause. This is my, what my organization is for. It's directly for this cause. So my organization might be directly for uh, helping the needy kids in Africa. My organization might be for uh, a nonprofit record label. Oh, my, my organization, you can make a non-profit organization for really anything. It's just about if you play the rules right and you go by the rules and regulations. And if you go by the rules and the regulations, you can you won't be at fault for this. But you got to think about it. Is this the right thing to do? Do I really want to do this? And I know a lot of people who, like I said, they're getting CPNs. They're, they're building up churches. Uh, they're building up all these different organizations. They're getting all this money from donations and commissary, and they're building these million-dollar homes. They're driving around in Bentley, Rolls Royces, wearing million dollars worth of jewelry, doing all these different things. And we're starting to see this more often. How many pastors have you seen? And I'm sorry for just picking on pastors and talking about pastors, but this is a good example. How many pastors have we seen where they're wearing designer clothes, where they're wearing Five hundred to a million dollars worth of jewelry, where they're in multi-million dollar homes, where they're driving multi-million dollar cars, they're living a way better life than you. Don't you feel like if, if the pastor is living his life, you should be living his life right? The same life, if not close to. Why aren't these pastors investing to the people who are investing in them? Why aren't these pastors? really invest into certain funds and like I say the money that they're investing like I said you it's a, it's a certain amount of money that you really have to invest into certain funds so if you get two million dollars and you got to invest an X amount like three hundred thousand four hundred thousand dollars into this fund and you do that and you get to keep the rest they're not going to be on your back because you're literally doing what you were supposed to do and that's where the scam comes in you're getting this money, you're investing what you need, but you're getting so much money that just it's, a, it's an X amount left over that you're keeping in your, your, your advance in your life. Now, I can see if some of these pastors are saying, okay, I got, let me get the names and the address of all these people in my, um, in my church. And let me, every month, let me send them some type of, some type of check or some type of, you know what I mean? Some type of uh, gift or something that will be worth it. Or let me help out a family every month in my church. Let me, you know what I'm saying? That needs the help instead of just taking the money and not doing anything for anybody. You might preach the word of God. You might be on YouTube. You might be doing this, but you're not helping the people out. You're helping yourself out. And like I said, there's a lot of different nonprofit organizations. So whenever you see a nonprofit organization, just look into it. See, are they really uh, investing to what they're really investing in? If you're looking to open up a non-profit uh, organization, make sure you're getting the money and you're doing the right way. Don't just get the money and run off with it or just don't get the money and do this and do that and don't invest it back into your people because there's a lot of people opening non-profit organizations. It's a lot of people opening up 501, see, uh, uh, what is it, uh, 501, oh, 
501c3 pro, uh, organizations and they're profiting from because they understand they have the knowledge that okay if i do this with the nonprofit, if i get this uh this this donation if i get this for this and if i get this for that and it comes from all over the place and i get so much money and i only have to in, in spend this amount on that this percentage on what i'm my nonprofit organization is for and then you got employees and you got this because you you might gotta play uh you might you might write down you paid your uh your chauffeur or your driver because you drive state to state four hundred thousand dollars that year, but you really didn't. It's it's a lot of different things that come on with the nonprofit organizations that hold you back from taxes, that save you money, that make you more money, and you won't be in trouble for it. So that's why a lot of people don't know about nonprofit organizations, but they do. But it's not big. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let people be aware of what's really going on. How these pastors are getting a lot of money. How all these people who if you look and you look at the people who open up nonprofit organizations, they got a lot of money because it's given to them, it's donated to them. They spend that X amount of percentage, and they spend, and they keep the money. So people are there's some people that I know. Yes, I do know people who are opening up CPNs, starting CPNs, opening up nonprofit organization, getting so much money, and then they falling back. So that's the video on the nonprofit organization scams, the five hundred one c three scams. Uh, make sure y'all tap in with me. Make sure y'all uh, make sure y'all tap in with me. Make sure y'all come to get y'all gems. Make sure y'all learn about all these lessons, man. Make sure y'all come to get this information because, like I said, I'm gonna give you free information on YouTube. But once you DM me on my inbox, now it's time for you to invest in yourself. Now you're telling me that you want to learn something and you want me to teach you. And my services is not free. This is about as free as it's gonna get. Would you give somebody a free service? No, I don't want to say, say you would. Like, yeah, if I had the money you had, you no, nah, it don't work like that. You got to make a living. You got to get your money. Ain't nothing in life free. The, the, the game is to be sold, not to be told. I don't know what other way to say it. So if you want to learn a basic lesson, it's going to be $600. One basic lesson, one thing. If you want a limited gems, that's everything. The CPN, how to make $1,000 off an iPhone, how to make all profit, how to do with all that good stuff. It's going to be $1,200. Up to two hours on FaceTime, and then after the FaceTime call, you can still ask me questions and all that. Uh, if you want to book your seat right now on the crypto tour, it's going to be $3,500. $500 deposit, $3,000 when you meet me in person. Shout out to everybody that's been booking y'all crypto tour lessons. Shout out to everybody that's been getting y'all gems. And shout out to everybody that's been working. And even shout out to everybody that's been hating, saying, all oh, your prices too high. Because at the end of the day, my prices is not too high. You just don't have enough. So... Take that consideration. There's really people out there paying for these lessons. There's really people out there getting the gems that they need. There's really people out there elevating their life and not focus on trying to show off what they focus on, trying to do better for themselves. They trying to focus on doing what they need to do. Take these steps that I give them to make money, get credit cards, to get lines of credit, to get loans, to get grants, to get all that good stuff. So don't be a fool. Stay in school. Come get these gems and let's all win. It's your boy King Hustle. Shout out to all my Real Hustle Nation Empire family members. Shout out to all my Real Hustle Nation Empire fans. And make sure y'all go t t subscribe and hit the all notification bell. King Hustle X1M, my music channel. I'm going to be dropping way more music. I'm going to be dropping way more sauce. I'm going to be going crazy. I'm going to boost up this music stuff and I want it. I want y'all to really feel me. We're going to build up this brand, Hustle Nation Empire. Shout out to everybody, man. All positive vibes, on negativity. Let's keep the ball rolling. Let's get these videos going. And I'm going to see y'all later. Got to make some more videos. Peace. This boy icy, ain't it? Come get you one.